What's going on guys? It's Pete from PeteIceb.com. Today we're going to talk about the three little things that you could do uh, today, right? To see a little bit of a change in your life, see a little bit of change in your attitude, and maybe become a better person. And a lot of the times we overthink our goals, we overthink um, our vision, and we make it more complex than it actually needs to be. Some exercise that we started doing as a team, uh, my coach uh, my coaching team, uh, brought to you by Coach Ames, he made us do a 30-day challenge. And that always helps because it's short-term goals that become uh, something that becomes part of your life and becomes routine. And that's creating the morning ritual. Everyone that is successful, anyone that you speak to that is successful has a morning ritual. They do something very consistently day-to-day -day, and usually they're just small things. Okay, so what we did as a challenge is develop our own morning ritual. I already had my morning ritual, but to keep myself more consistent and they added a little bit more uh, to it, I do it with my team as well and we're on day four right now and it's going strong. So first thing I do in the morning um, is not go on my phone. You know, I do have to do an accountability check for one of my teams. Uh, my Pretty much my mentor makes me wake up early. I don't wake up early anyway and I have to check in. Other than that, I don't touch my phone, I don't go on any social media, I don't go on anything else except for maybe play a song. Sorry, I have a canker sore. Um, I play a song uh, that'll inspire me or help me wake up or help me be grateful, right? Because that's the next thing I do. Once I wake up, I open up my journal and I write down three things that I'm grateful for. And I keep writing them down just to remind yourself that, you know, a lot of times we try to lie to ourselves of what we're grateful for or lie to ourselves of what we want to be. But there's some things in life that you should be grateful for. And I think you should remind yourself every day that you are just grateful for those little things. My family, it's my wife, my son, my brother, my mom, my dad, my cousins, my family, right? Number one, my cranksters, people that have been with me for many years. You know, I'm grateful for them and I'm grateful for my body. As damaging, as much damage as I've done to it, as much hate I have towards it, I am grateful for my body and what it can do. And then the next three things I write down are things that you want to see improvement in yourself. And for me, that's to be more consistent, be a reliable person, and care. Not that I need to work on it, but sometimes I have to remind myself every day that those are the three things that I need to be to be successful. Okay? And then from there on out, I will take a shower, very cold, cold shower. Well, I'll make my coffee first, shower. Super cold, um, and then hopefully get a workout in it, any type of workout in the morning. And this is all before 5 o'clock, so that's how early I wake up. But for me, my challenge is to make sure I am consistent and I keep doing it. You know, because there's days that I'm going to wake up that I don't want to do it. I'd rather hit snooze and uh, just like a, a, any other human being. But it, in order for me to be consistent and live the code, I have to make sure I hold myself accountable to that. And those little startups makes your day go smoother. Okay, that little ritual makes your day move more efficiently. And by writing things down, you get a lot of the stuff inside your head out on paper. And now it just creates more space in your head for you to think about bigger projects rather than the smaller tasks. So hopefully that helped. Um, if you have any questions, guys, always comment down below. Make sure you guys like, subscribe as well. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I kind of can't hear. I feel like I'm getting like an ear infection. It's kind of weird. See you guys later. Have a great one.